Hello, I'm Bro Misra. I just want to start off by saying thank you to everybody. Uh, I just saw the channel past 100 subscribers, so that's amazing. I just thought this would be something that I would only watch as I painted my minis. Uh, that's what I thought this would be. I thought it would just no one else would watch. And that's all it would ever be, would just be the one view that I gave it as I watched it back and painted. So I'm super glad and so humbled that... Um, I, I guess it's entertaining. <laughs> it's it's it truly is amazingly humbling. I never expected it to be anything outside of that. Uh, so thank you so much for all the support. Uh, this is just the settlement phase after the level two Gorm that we just fought. We're able to get rid of stupid Gorm climate, so we don't have to do that anymore. I'm so glad we don't have to do Gorm climate. Uh, but we still have hands of heat this year, so there'll be another a lot of math again. So, thank you so much. Again, it's so humbling, and hopefully you enjoyed the settlement phase. Thank you. So, here we are. This is the settlement event after the Gorm. Um, so, first things first, uh, I have these two dice here to... Or not, these two dice denoting things for these two survivors, which are Lightning and Kenna. So, they were both hoarders, so I need to discard two cards right away, so we're going to get rid of the Love Juice and the Skull. Um, and I forgot to add, when I drew the Skull, I forgot to add Insanity. So that Insanity is going to go to Kenna. So she has 10 Insanity now. And we are going to um, just put these back. So these are for Hoarder. So that gets rid of those two. And uh, when you do something with Hoarder, you gain a Courage. So Lightning gains one Courage. And Kenna can't gain any more Courage because she's already maxed. She's already seen the truth. Alright. So, with that, uh, first things first, we're going to do the settlement event that we have to do. Nine. Oof, that's a lot. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ninth card. So we've got a clinging mist. The settlement is hidden behind a thick green mist. Something about the way the lantern light passes through it makes it seem alive. So we'll roll the d10 now. Okay, let's grab this dice. Here go. It's a seven. Does someone have ammonia? Yes, we do. Nominate a survivor to douse themselves in urine and run through the settlement, clearing the mist away. They gain plus three understanding, but minus one permanent luck for being so gross. <laughs> okay. Okay. Doesn't mean... <sighs> okay. Um, someone's going to get minus one luck. Uh, but gets three understanding. So, we're going to give that to someone who can no longer depart, which I think, if I remember right, I don't think Clayton... Oh, we're going to need this. So let me set that aside. Uh, yeah, I don't think... Um, so it's either going to be Wit or Clayton. So we will do it with Wit. So he's going to go ahead and gain, what is it, three understanding? And minus one permanent luck. All right, wit. So you're going to gain three understanding. Oops. And then minus one permanent luck. Okay. Three understanding. Which is going to make him do insight. Uh, and then I have to put minus one luck here. Okay. So now we have to trigger insight. 
for wit. Okay, insight in the settlement phase. He's a tinkerer and a two. Uh, if you innovate this phase, draw plus one card. So we're going to be drawing five cards when we innovate this year. Okay, so he's a tinkerer, whatever. It's never going to go out anyway. Okay, so that takes care of Wit being a tinkerer. Okay. Now, normally we'd have to do Gorm Climate, but we don't have to do Gorm Climate. I finally eliminated Gorm Climate. Now, we do the regular settlement event, which is Hands of Heat. We have to do Hands of Heat again. Ugh. Okay. So, we have in storage. I've already added this up. We have a Hook Claw, a Scarab Wing, a Caustic Dung, five Broken Lanterns, three Iron, a Century Skull, which is essentially another Iron, Cyclops flies, we have three of them, one lonely ant, and two acanthus plants. So in total that is 1, 2, 3, 8, 11, 12, 14, 16 in storage. You can just recount. Eighteen in storage. Eighteen in storage. And uh, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So we get to keep 15 things uh, during. Uh, here, I'll read the Hands of Heat again. So if your settlement's already been innovated in Lantern Oven, which we have, we just go right to Lantern Branding. Lantern Branding is. A feast culminating in the ritual branding of the settlement's finest warriors by the heat of an agitated lantern. Discard half the settlement's total resources, including storage, rounded down, nominate a survivor, and roll on the table. Okay, so we need, we get to keep 15, uh, yeah, 15 things. So, it's really easy. Keeping these three things so we can innovate. So that's three. We have 12 left to keep. Keeping the five broken lanterns, so that's seven left to keep. We're keeping the four iron, so that's three things left to keep, and we're keeping the three cyclops flies. So that's it. We lose everything else. So all this is all gone. All of the stuff from the dung beetle is all gone. This is gone. All this is all gone. All gone. Um, and we just have these last three resources which we will use to innovate. Oh, this canvas plant's gone. So that's it. Once we once we innovate, we're, we literally have nothing. We lost the hook claw from the giggle lion. Um, so... Actually, you know what? Um, I'll keep only two cyclops. I'll keep the hook claw and only keep two cyclops fly. That makes more sense. Better to keep the hook claw. Okay, from the Giga Lion. Okay. Now let's roll on the Hands of Heat table. Alright, so... Uh, let's see, we can get a permanent speed, a permanent strength, or a permanent luck. So... Most likely, it's either going to be... Uh, the luck is almost impossible, and it's someone who's pro most likely is probably going to get speed if anything happens at all. So who would I not mind get speed? But at the same time, I don't want them to get blinded. <laughs> uh, hmm. I'm thinking maybe lightning, since she's uh, using monster claw style. Getting a plus one luck for her would be pretty good if it happened, and I wouldn't mind her getting blinded that bad because her accuracy would go down, um, which is fine for Fist and Tooth anyway, because she'd have a higher crit chance. Um, it's also would helpful if she got if she did get the strength. The speed would make at least a three, yeah. 
Uh, so we're going to do lightning for this lantern branding. Uh, five, is that the speed? Yeah, that's the speed. Eh, whatever. So she's got plus one speed now, lightning. Which is fine, I guess. It's pretty good for someone who's using fist and tooth. Okay, so that is the end of all the settlement events. This has just been really bad. Now, let's innovate. So we'll spend an innovation here to innovate, and we're going to draw five cards, which is crazy, drawing five cards. Okay, here we go. One. Oh, cooking. It's probably going to be cooking. Three. It's actually definitely going to be cooking, because I. the only other thing I would have thought about taking was um, so we drew Forbidden Dance which is good but Scarification we also drew so uh, we've passed on Scarification many a time we've passed on Bloodletting many a time we've passed on Petal Spiral many a time um, so comes down to Cooking and Forbidden Dance now, the thing with Forbidden Dance is you can get plus one evasion and we're kind of in the need to start getting King's Step for level two. Um, Kingsman, which we'll have to fight eventually. Um, also, we're going to kind of need to build a new tank since Rodin got killed by the Twilight Knight. And then now... Um, We don't, yeah, we're going to need more evasion. <laughs> so, would be helpful. But, what can you do? I think we're just going to take cooking because we can start making the food that gives evasion too. So, we'll take cooking for now. And there is no... Um, consequences for cooking. Okay, so we'll take cooking for now. That gives us a plus one survival limit. Which brings us up to seven survival, and we get one extra endeavor every year from now on. Okay, now, so uh, during the hunt phase, we got plus one population. So that person does not gain any of the benefits from the settlement, which sucks. So that person uh, is just going to be named Ryder, and I've made him, so you'll see a graphic. There he is. Now he was saved. Okay, so cooking, this goes in our innovations now. Okay, so we have that person, plus one population. So we have Ryder. The other thing that we're going to need to do here is Kenna is also getting close to retiring, but she's going to need to go out and fight at least two more times. Perhaps to get Spear Master, unless we do Nightmare Training, which... Since we have no resources, Kenna could at least do Nightmare Training right now. Because um, I'm going to send her out again anyway, so she'll refresh her survival. So I could do Nightmare Training now, send her out. That's what it's looking like. So, we will spend an innovation... We're not going to spend the innovations with Lightning or Kenna. We're just going to spend someone else's innovation right now to do Nightmare Training with Kenna. So I'll roll the dice now. So Kenna loses three survival to even do it. Brings her down to one survival left since she had four. And here we go. We're hoping to gain a weapon proficiency. Uh, so we have to spend a survival to do it again or just fail. So what should I do? 
I don't think I should risk it. She only has four survival. I don't want to risk to if I roll a one because I'm terrible at rolling. The likelihood of me rolling a one is very likely. Uh, so we're not going to do that. I'm not going to spend the survival. We just fail. Okay. Uh, who else would benefit from proficiency level would be Thunder, because I need to get his shield mastery up, because we got to get a shield master soon. He's four away from shield master, so we will spend... We'll spend Lightning's Endeavor. Okay, we'll spend Lightning's Endeavor and do it with Thunder, who also has four survival. So that will bring his survival down to one. A five. Uh, now he's four away from shield mastery. All right, yep, we're not going to do it. Man, these are just total wastes. I don't want to kill either one of these two, but I need they need to start getting quickly to mastery. Especially Kenna, because she's almost done. She's only got one, two, three, four, five, she's only got six hunts left. No, I mean three hunts left. She's only got six experience left. Okay, so with our last endeavor, what we're going to do... Because, I, like I said, I don't have anyone else even who spear at all. We're going to have to spend the endeavor... Uh, we spent these two. Today. We'll spend the... Uh, Kenna's innovation, because she's a matchmaker. So it will be Kenna and Ryder. The new person we just got. They'll have a kid. Because I need, I need to pass on spear proficiency and she has six so the kid will be born with three which is good um okay so because we have um i forget what it even is, is it hovel or family which whatever one that lets you roll or no protect the young so we get to roll twice for intimacy and pick the highest uh six so what is Intimacy 6? A new survivor is brought kicking and screaming into the world. The eyes are free from the ink that stained the founder's faces. Suddenly gains another plus one population. Okay, so that's what a 6 is. So Kenna and Ryder have a daughter. So we have quite a bit of stuff for um, newborn survivors. All newborn survivors gain plus one understanding. So her name's gonna be Tara here. Let me, let me look to get a let's see if I have a sheet somewhere. Preferably one you know that isn't on the back of someone awesome. Oh well. Okay, so here we go. Her name will be Tara. So, she's going to be born with plus one understanding. She's actually going to be born with plus two, plus three understanding, because we also have Saga. So she's going to go plus three understanding when she's born. She's also going to be born with two courage. She's also born with two hunt experience. She's also born with three spear specialization because Kenna had six. Um, we are also barbaric, so she's going to be born with plus one strength. And we also plan a death, so she's actually going to be born with plus one accuracy, plus two strength, plus one evasion. And now we do her age milestone. Or understanding triggers first. So let's do understanding. I think she's a matchmaker. Um, where do I? Where's understanding? 
insights in the settlement phase. She is a tinkerer. Okay, insight, settlement phase. There's the roll. Oh wow, I got a 10. What's a 10? Uh, another permanent strength. Okay, so Tara actually has three strength. Okay, and she is a tinkerer. Okay, now we do, now we trigger age. She's age one. She already has shield, our spear proficiency. So, eight, age one, eight. Uh, gain one random fighting art. Okay, come on, Tara, let's get something good. Get something good. Spear related, good, that would be great. What is it? That's that's awful. <laughs> oh, that is awful. So she's a strategist, which is just awful. It's not. I mean, it's not terrible. There's much worse ones, but. Uh, it's pretty awful. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's all the endeavors we have. That's everything. Uh, yeah, so we have like eight resources in storage. What a mess. What a mess. Okay, so we are left with a hook claw, five broken lanterns, three iron, one century skull, two cyclops flies, lonely ant, or no, that's it. Two Cyclops flies. Fun times. Alright, so that's the end. Now we start Lantern Year 15. And uh, I think... I think we have no choice but to fight uh, Antelope. Because um, we just have nothing. <laughs> there, we have nothing in the storage at all. So it's probably going to be another antelope fight. Um, what I need is a lot of bone because the only thing I'm really interested in doing is making the blacksmith. So I could either fight... I could fight a Giga Lion again. Um, but the Giga Lion was pretty difficult. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if I want to fight another Giga Lion right now. But... I, I, we need six bone. <laughs> so... Antelope's the easiest way I can think of to, to farm it up quick. The only other thing I was thinking is we could fight a level 1 Phoenix, but... And maybe try to age some people up. And also make one of uh, the hybrid armor sets if I could get the exact resource that I needed. But that would be pretty rare, so I don't I don't think we'll do that. Um, it's most likely going to be the antelope. So thank you everyone so much for watching. <laughs> this was uh, hands of heat is killing us two times in a row. Plus this nightmare training we got nothing from that. Uh, this was. Just not good. Uh, good news is we didn't have to add Hands of Heat anymore, so we're finally done with that. The, uh, we just got the Butcher. Well, we've got an Antelope, then we got Butcher, then we got the Black Harvest to get the Calcified Weapons. So that should be great. All right, thank you everyone so much for watching. It's uh, so very humbling. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for all the support that I've gotten. And I'll see you in the next Lantern year.